morning. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Thank the Lord for this beautiful day that he has made. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank our awesome and wonderful God. Yes. Mighty, powerful, loving, kind, and just God that we serve. We just thank him and praise him this Tuesday morning. Yes, he is awesome. Yes, mighty and holy is our God. Wonderful is his name today. We just thank him and praise him for the love he's pouring out upon us today. Wonder Williams, Janice, Gerald, good morning. Good to see you ladies. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord this Tuesday morning. Yes, we just thank you and praise you. We just love you, Lord God, for you are truly awesome and wonderful. Elena Williams, good morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you this morning, Heavenly Father. Yes, no love like his love this morning. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, yes. So good to know the Lord. Juanita Hudson, good morning to you. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Praise him, praise him, praise him this morning. Wonderful and awesome God, mighty and loving God, kind and just God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful, hallelujah, unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Good morning, everybody. Psalm 150. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psalter and harp. Praise him with the timbre and dance. Praise him with the string of instruments and organ. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's just give God some praise while I make a slight adjustment this morning. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you this morning, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your honor. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for blessing us and keeping us, for walking with us and being with us, never leaving us nor forsaking us because you are truly awesome and wonderful. You are magnificent and kind. You are worthy of all the praise this morning. Father, we thank you and praise you as we come before your throne of grace this morning. We thank you because you're sitting high and you're looking low. Lord, we thank you right now for the love and the joy, the peace and the blessing that you're pouring down upon us this day. Lord, thank you for your protection. Thank you for being the shield, the buckler, a strong tower all around us. Father, that we dwell in the secret place of you, our most high. We abide under your shadow of the almighty God today. Father, you are truly an awesome God and a wonderful God, a loving and a kind and a just God. And we just thank you and praise you this morning. We just love you and lift you up today. Father, we enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. It was you that woke us up this morning. It was you that breathed the breath of life into us this morning. It is you, Lord, that will never leave us nor forsake us. And we just want to thank you and praise you, our Heavenly Father. Yes, we come to glorify you and magnify you this morning. Father, we thank you because you've already met all of our needs. Lord God, we thank you and praise you this morning. Yes, we thank you for your grace that covers us and keeps us. Father, we thank you right now. Hallelujah, that you love us so much that you took what was in you, what was near and dear to you, and you gave it in the form of a man to die for us, to shed blood for us, 
to be wounded and bruised and chastised and punished just for us. We thank you this morning for our Lord and Savior. We thank you for our Messiah. We thank you for, hallelujah, yes, we thank you this morning for Jesus Christ, the anointed one and his anointing. We thank you for the bread of life, the living word, living water, Father. We thank you for Emmanuel, God with us. Father, we just thank you and praise you this morning because when you see us, you see us through that blood. You see us as complete and whole. Father, you look beyond our faults and we just want to thank you and praise you this morning, that you chose us anyhow, and you're using us anyhow, and we just thank you and praise you this morning, Lord God. But Father, we thank you that we're still not alone, that even though Jesus has left this earth, he did not leave us comfortless. He left us with a counselor and a comforter, with an advocate, a hallelujah, an intercessor, a strengthener, a helper, a very present help in time of trouble. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost this morning, your Holy Spirit, that spirit that gives us power, might, and ability, that spirit that's in us and upon us, that spirit that's leading, guiding, and directing us, that spirit that's bringing to our remembrance all things that you have said, Father, what you have spoken in your word and what you're speaking to us. Lord, we just thank you and praise you this morning. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your tender loving kindness. Thank you for being a great God. Thank you for being a providing God. Thank you for being a healing God, a just and a righteous God this morning. In Jesus' name, let's give our God some praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise him, praise him, praise him. I want to tell everybody good morning. God bless you and I love you today. It's so good to see you. So good to be in your presence. So good to be able to thank the Lord for all that he's done and all that he's continued to do. Hallelujah. He's been more, hallelujah, than a light bill. He is still God. He is still blessing. He's still saving. He's still delivering. He's still loving us each and every day. And we thank you and praise you, Father. But not only is your love to us, but it's to our children and our children's children. And we just thank you and praise you this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Lord. What an awesome God. What a wonderful God that we serve today, y'all. Yes, he is. He's holy. He's awesome. He's reverent on this Tuesday morning. Hallelujah. And we lift him up in the name of Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Yes, thank you this morning. Let me pray over you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you on the behalf of these, my brothers and my sisters, and declare your kingdom come, your will be done in their lives as the plan and the will of God is in heaven. I pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, first of all, that you woke them up and that you did not give them a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind this morning. That the joy, love, peace of God, the fullness of God, the completeness of God is surrounding them and keeping them in everything they do and everywhere that they go, that you are with them, Father, that they don't leave home without you. Lord God, I thank you right now that you sent your word and your word healed them and delivered them. Father, I thank you for renewing their strength like that of an eagle that we're running and not getting weary. We're walking and not fainting. Father God, I thank you this morning, oh Heavenly Father, that the joy of you, Lord, is our strength because you are the strength of our life. And your word is a lamp and a light unto our path and unto our feet today. Lord God, we thank you and praise you this morning that no weapon formed against us, no weapon formed against our children, our children's children shall prosper this day. Weapons may form, but they will not prosper. Lord God, I thank you right now that we have no fear because your purpose perfect love cast out all fear. Your perfect love has given us victory over fear. Lord God, I thank you and praise you this morning that whatsoever we put our hands and minds to, that Father, it shall prosper. Father God, I thank you that we are like trees planted by the rivers of water. We are prospering no matter what, because if you be for us, who can be against us? Lord God, I thank you and praise you this morning. Thank you for the promotion. Thank you for the elevation. Thank you for the blessings upon our lives because you make it rich and you add no sorrow with us. Hallelujah. With the blessing that you've given to us. Father God, we just thank you and praise you this morning. In Jesus' name, let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Praise you this morning, Lord God. Just thank the Father this morning. 
Listen, understand that God loves you today. You are not junk. Hallelujah. You are made. You were created in the image of the Most High God today. And I want you to understand who you are and whose you are. I want you to walk around with your head held high. I want you to look at that situation. And I want you to speak to that mountain. Speak the word of God. I want you to believe those things that you say. Believe in God. Believe in what I'm telling you. And you shall prosper. Hallelujah. God has established you. Hallelujah. And we thank God this morning for all that he's doing and all that he's continuing to do in our lives. Hallelujah. We thank God. Hallelujah. Listen, do me a favor. Put your children's name in the, in the chat. Let us pray over our seed this morning. As a matter of fact, if you're married, put your, put your spouse's name in there too. Let us pray over them this morning. I, I, I want to pray for you and your children. Pray for your spouse this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Three, four quarters, not easily broken. Hallelujah. And I want to make a declaration that over your family, that your family is operating on one accord. Hallelujah. That there's love flowing throughout your family. Peace is in your family. Everything your family needs, God has already provided. Thanking him today. Hallelujah. Yes, I got you, Charles and Saran Johnson. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Our two sons, Miles and Sean Wilkinson, and our goddaughter, DeAndre Smith, this morning. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord, this morning. Yes, thank you, Heavenly Father. Praying for my wife, Sabrina Wilkinson, this morning. Hallelujah. Merrick Damone, hallelujah. Sh Shakra, Shay, hallelujah. And Frank, hallelujah, Williams. All right, praying for Candace, Michaela, William, and Gomar. Hallelujah. Praying for Tish, Eddie, and Brian. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you this morning, Father. Yes. Curtis, Ron, John, Mike, Robert, Tony Gray, Michael, Charlene, Elizabeth, Patricia, Lou. Yes. Vandalin, Martina, Tamiria, Tequila. All right. Got you there. Got you there. Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning, Heavenly Father. Wilmot Sr., Takesha Lott, Terramon Lott, Wilmot Jr., praise the Lord. Got you there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tangela Poole Moore, her husband. Hallelujah. John Tay keeping it real, Childs. Hallelujah. Loray Childs. Larry Childs. Hallelujah. Kira Shaquise. Shaquise and Tony. Got you there, Lane Brain. Praise the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. We just thank the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. That's all we have this morning. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Anjanae Gibbons and her children. Praise the Lord. Got you there, Jackie Hamilton. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Lord. Shaquille Green Childs. All right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, we ready? Let's go ahead on, y'all. Let's pray. <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you right now on the behalf of these children and grandchildren, Godchildren. Hallelujah. Yes, we, including Jayla and Eubanks. Hallelujah. Praying your kingdom come, your will be done in their life as the plan and the will of God is in heaven. Father God, we declare that you created all of us, including our children and our children's children, with a purpose and plan in mind. That you formed us before, hallelujah, before we even came forth, you already knew us and ordained us. You ordained our children and our children's children. Father God, we pray right now, Heavenly Father, for a hedge of protection all around our children and grandchildren, our spouses in the north, south, east, and west, that no hurt, harm, or danger will come nigh them, neither shall any plague come nigh their dwelling. Lord God, we stand in the gap interceding, that they have a relationship with you to do your will and your good pleasure, and everything you call for them to do that they will accomplish. Father God, we declare and decree that our children are, served, are saved, sanctified, and serving in the kingdom of God. Father, some are ministers and deacons, some are prophets. Father God, we declare that some are teachers, some are apostles and evangelists. Father God, we speak a blessing over our children's lives. We speak those things as though that be not as though they were. Father, no matter where our children are, we declare that the hand of God is upon them, the hand of God is with them, that your hand of protection and love is all over them. Father God, we thank you that you're just being with them in everything they do and everywhere they go. And Father God, we thank you right now that 
even though the enemy is trying to steal, kill, and destroy, he will not be victorious over our lives, over our children's lives, and our children's children. Father God, we declare that we are blessed and our seed is blessed beyond a thousand generations. Lord God, we declare today that we are healed, our children are healed. Father, we declare that we are powerful, our children are powerful. Father, we thank you that as we're led by the Holy Spirit, our children and grandchildren, our seed, our posterity is led by the Holy Spirit as well. Father God, we thank you that we stand in the gap making declaration, interceding for our children and our children's children and every generation following, declaring that we are anointed and appointed to do your will and your good pleasure. And Father, we thank you that if there's any that are sick, you've already given us healing, God. Any that are depressed, you've already given joy, God. Father, we thank you that you've replaced our weakness with your strength, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Let's give God some holy praise this morning. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, this morning. Hallelujah. Listen, you got to speak those things that be not as though they were. I don't care where your children are. I don't care what your children are doing. I want you to understand this, that you got the power of life and death in your tongue. And you speak life. Hallelujah. Not only that, but you be an example for them to follow. Hallelujah. You set the example for your children to follow. If your children won't follow God, but you're following God, look, say, hey, what's wrong with that? You know, what's wrong? Father, let me keep praying and calling, tugging at the heartstrings so that they will follow you just as I follow you. Father God, I just thank you and praise you. You got to call things that be not as though they were. You got to call your character, conduct, and conversation into alignment with the word of God. Let the words of your mouth in the meditation of your heart be acceptable in the sight of God and in the sight of those who you are in front of. Hallelujah, whether it's in person, whether it's online, social media, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, I don't care. You or you say, hey, I'm a Christian, you got to represent God at all times. Let your children see the God in you and let them turn. Say, you know what? I see. I saw what God did for mama and daddy. I'm going to follow their footsteps. Hallelujah, because the world don't give me joy and peace, so let me follow after what my mama and daddy Daddy did, how they followed the Lord and believed God. And we were okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't beat them with it. Be the example for them to follow. So the seed of the righteous is delivered. You want your children delivered? Follow after God. Be an example to, 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 uh, of God in front of your children. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him this morning. Thank you, Father. Father, I thank you for giving us all the strength to follow after you, to walk like you, act like you, talk like you, live like you, speak like you in the name of Jesus. All right, y'all, it's Tuesday morning. Let's let the devil know it's on because we still fighting. Hallelujah. We may have gotten knocked down, but we got right back up. Whether we fell forward and saw where we were falling or fell backwards and looking up, God did it. Praise ye the Lord. Say this after me. Say, Father, I declare it's on now. It's on now. It's on now. Satan, I speak to you now. And I boldly declare <clears throat> that you are a defeated foe in my life. I confidently speak and boldly declare that you cannot have the vision, the plan, and the purpose of God for my life. I am blessed and my seed is blessed. Beyond a thousand generation, my God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. When you came at me like a flood, the spirit of the Lord lifted up a standard against you for me. I declare that you came at me one way, but you are fleeing in several ways. It's on now. It's on now. It's on now. I speak the word of God. And the word says that I have the victory through Christ Jesus and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, surrounds me. And keeps me. I declare. 
that, I, that you cannot have. My family, my health, my faith, my peace, my joy, my victory, my finances, or my praise. This is the day the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I live in Jesus, and Jesus lives in me. God has given me everything that pertains unto life and godliness. It's on now. It's on now. It's on now. I have on the full armor of Almighty God, and I stand ready to defeat you, Satan. I have on the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, and my loins are girded with the truth. My feet are shodded, are covered with the preparation of the gospel of peace of Jesus Christ. And I stand ready to see, to see the salvation of the Lord. I take the shield of faith and I quench every lie and every fiery dart you throw at me, Satan. I have the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And I use it daily in my battle. Satan, I speak to you now, and I stand ready to fight you, and I declare that I will see the salvation of the Lord for my life, my children's life, my children's children's life. I declare you picked the wrong child of Almighty God to mess with today. It's on now. It's on now. It's on now. In Jesus' name, let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, don't let nobody tell you different. Don't let nobody steal your joy today. Don't you get discouraged today. Don't be upset today. Whatever you can do to change it, you change it. If you can't, give it to Jesus. Put it on the altar. You keep moving. You keep walking. Hallelujah. Say, you know what? The Lord don't sleep nor slumber. So guess what? I'm giving it to Jesus and I'm moving on. Hallelujah. I'm stepping on. I'm too blessed to be stressed, too anointed to be met, disappointed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is with you, so who can be against you? Don't let nothing or no, no one steal your joy today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, joy is not an emotion. Joy is what's in you. Joy comes from your relationship with God. Joy comes from the word of God. Hallelujah. And we know in the midst of chaos, God is still with us. Hallelujah. No matter what it looked like today, if you want to quit, if you want to fight, say, Lord, is this a test? If it's not a test, I'm moving on. I'm moving on anyhow. Praise him. Praise him today. God loves you. God affirms you. God confirms you. Hallelujah. Know that if God is with you, who can be against you? Speak to your mountains today, child of God. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, let's do this God is able confession this morning. Say this after me. Say, Father, I declare that you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all I act, think, or imagine according to your power, your word. Working in me, working upon me. You sent Jesus so that I will have life and enjoy my life in abundance to the full, till it overflows. I speak words that give life to others and myself. The words I speak build up, encourage, motivate, and, up, and uplift. My words never tear down, disappoint, destroy, or discourage. 
No foul. Polluted. Negative. Profane. Or corrupt language. Will come out. Of my mouth. My thoughts. Or my mind. I declare. That my life. Is a reflection. Of almighty God. His word. And his spirit. Working in me. Working upon me. I am. A new creature. Created. In Christ Jesus. All things. Have passed away. And all things. Are become new. Greater. Is the spirit of God. That's in me. That's upon me. Than any spirit. That is in this world. I live. And walk. By faith and not by sight, I call things that be not as though they were. My God has given me a measure of faith, and my faith moved mountains. I have faith, confidence, expectation in God's power and ability to operate, to change. My life in Jesus' name. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, child of God, you got to call those things that be not as though they were. In the midst of your chaos, you got to call forth peace. In the midst of your sadness, you got to call forth joy. In the midst of disappointments, you got to thank the God. Thank God anyway, anyhow. Hallelujah. You got to, you got to, hey, listen, you got to put off the sackcloth and ashes. You got to come up out, out of that frustration. You got to believe that God has called you to do great things. You got to believe that God called you to have peace. Hallelujah. You got to get in that scripture. You got to get in that word. You got to encourage yourself in your time of tribulation and trial. That's why, I, uh, you know, I, I, I said this. You need to be strong in the word when there is no storm. Because when the storm comes, all that training you've been doing, all that praying, all that reading, that's when it's going to come to help you and strengthen you. That's when the test is. When, when, when hey, we can do it, but it's not going to work as much as if we already made preparation. See, you can, you can pick up your Bible when you get in a getting in a bad situation, but if you don't know where to go, you, it, it's just going to seem like it's worse so you don't know what to read. But if you already got that scripture in you during your tests, your trials, that's when that word is going to come alive in your life. Hallelujah. That's when that word is going to come alive and work and help you get through that hard time. Because why? You've been in that word. You got something in you. See, if you have not been working out, I'm talking about physically, when you need strength, it won't be there because your muscles have not been trained. They've not been strengthened. So strengthen your faith, strengthen your walk with Jesus in what's perceived to be the good times. When there seems like it's all peace, when it seems like there's no storm, strengthen your relationship because why? Trouble will come, but the light affliction is only for a moment. But be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Come on, y'all. Let's do this favorite confession. Hallelujah. And good morning, everybody. <laughs> Say this after me. Say, Father, I thank you for your grace, undeserved, unearned, unmerited, favor, your supernatural power, ability, and authority that surrounds my life, my children's life. As a shield, I declare the favor of God is working for me when I'm asleep and when I'm awake, when I get up and when I lay down, when I go out, when I come in. The favor of God is working for me in my thoughts and the words I speak, in my home, on my job, and with my businesses. I have favor good success, and a good understanding in the sight of God and man. My God has raised up and is raising up 
people to use their favor. Power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, intelligence, strength, money, knowledge, discernment, and wisdom to help me, to bless me, to do good to me. My God has raised me up to use my favor, power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, intelligence, strength, money, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, to help someone, to bless someone, to do good to someone. The favor of God is causing rules, laws, regulations, and ordinances to be changed, created, and modified to help me, to bless me, to do good to me. I am Abraham's seed, and the blessings of Abraham is on my life. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Say it one more time. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Every time I turn around, God's favor is blessing me. Turn around one more time. Turn around one time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn around one time for your children and your children's children for that favor to be working in their lives. And those of you that can't, I got you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's reach up. Let's touch the hem of his garment. Let's pull down that favor this morning. Say this after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment. I pull down favor from the north, south, east, and west in Jesus' name. Pull it down this morning. Woo! Give God some praise. Hallelujah. I'm thanking God for that favor that's already operating already so that, hey, favor's already working while we're still at home. It's working on the job. It's working in the business. And I'm declaring that favor is just working. Hallelujah. Listen, today, set a goal. Set something to accomplish. Listen, if you want something, hallelujah, that you never had, you got to do something you never did. Hallelujah. You want your life to be blessed. You want to take your life in a new direction. You got to be willing to do some things that you haven't done before. You got to be willing to go some places where you haven't gone before. You got to be willing to talk to some people you may be afraid to talk to. But hallelujah, if God is for you, who can be against you? Amen. 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 Well, hey, I want to thank y'all for joining me this morning. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to come into your life and pray with you do these confessions with you to impart, you know, into you. I want you to enjoy the blessings that God has for you. Hallelujah. I want you to live the life that God has for you. God put dreams and visions in all of us. It's time to act upon them. It's time to step out in faith. Stop being scared. Stop worried about where the money going to come from. Stop worried about how you're going to do it. Step out in faith. Amen. Amen. Hey, Put this on your calendar, July 2nd at 11 a.m. Hallelujah. July 2nd at 11 a.m. You're invited to come out to our church uh, annual family fun day on the park, Dyer Park. Uh, we got the flyer posted on the church website. We're going to post it pretty much every day so it stays fresh. Hallelujah. I want you to come out, bring your family with you. We're going to have a great time, some good food, some games, some fun. We're just going to have a great time in the Lord, and I want you to be a part of what we're doing. Hallelujah. So come on out, family. Join us on July 2nd. That's a Saturday. We will not be having church that Sunday. That is our church day. Hallelujah. If you need prayer, we'll pray for you. Hallelujah. You want to rejoice? We'll rejoice, but let's have a great time. So with that being said, join me tomorrow morning. Bring somebody with you to prayer tomorrow morning. Just tag people names in the chat. 
They'll see it if they're on Facebook. They'll get it. They'll know that they've been tagged in. Just tag them in. Hallelujah. Remember, this will be on YouTube shortly. So with that being said, on the behalf of myself, James Tiger Wilkinson, my beautiful wife over there in the background, Pastor Sabrina, our family team, Wilkinson, and of course, the most beautiful is wonderful is best is blessed is Holy Ghost filled, devil stumping, fire belt tied, committed, skillful, loyal, able, prompt to do, on fire, beautiful is wonderful is hallelujah, body believers on this side of heaven. Uh, Uplift Church 429 family and of course you uh, Uplift Church 429 Facebook Live family God bless you, I love you See you in the morning Peace, have a great day everybody And be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might Amen